Well, between rain and a pandemic, some may call today a little bit of a bummer. Uh, not at Dollywood, though. Harvest Festival and Great Pumpkin Luminites are happening now, and visitors and employees say they are just thrilled now to be there. In March, you know, the park shut down right as it was set to open for the 35th year. Since reopening in June, COVID safety protocols have been added. Matter of fact, WAT6 on your side, Anchor Summer Dash is in Pigeon Forge tonight. Summer, what does it look like there at Dollywood? I know you got the umbrella up, but hopefully it's not spoiling the uh, atmosphere there today. <laughs> On. Rain can't spoil an atmosphere at a place like Dollywood, and neither can a pandemic. So it looks a little different, but my goodness, Bo, it feels so good to be here. So some of the things you're going to see if you do come along and come out to Dollywood, they've got these portable hand washing stations. They're sort of dotting Dollywood. And come along this way in true 2020 pandemic style, you go from a hand washing station to a giant pumpkin. So there's your fall festivities right there. The giant pumpkins are here. And uh, you know what? During the three months this park was shut down, leaders here did some serious research on how they could reopen safely. We're told Dolly was part of the decision to close. She wanted to make sure guests were safe. We see these changes. They're made all across the park. Masks are being worn. You can see that. Indoor activities are closed like theaters and museums. Shops, though, those are open. The fun is all outdoors at Dollywood to allow for social distancing. Still, for so many people, coming here is a tradition. It's where memories are made. And you know what? Fall seems to bring the warmest memories despite the cooler temperatures. Employees are especially grateful to be back. More than 600 of them had been laid off. People like Jane Ray, who has worked here for 21 years. Guess what? It's also her birthday today. She is so excited to be spending it at Dollywood. She says the first day back here was magical. During the quarantine, we all kept in touch with each other. Uh, we call each other, we text each other, we have our own Facebook page, Dollywood Front Gate, you know, and we've kept up with everything. So, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was hard, but we, but we got through it. And oh, and then when we came back, when we came back, it was like reunion. It was just like a reunion. Everybody was so happy to see everybody again. Aw, oh, happy birthday, Jane. That's what I wanted y'all to see. I wanted you to wish Jane a happy birthday. She retired from paralegal work to come work at Dollywood. She says, you know what? She likes working on her birthday. And we are told that all of those, almost all of those employees who were laid off are now back at the park. Some of them are in different positions, but they are here. And get this, Dollywood is hiring if you need a job. Live at Dollywood, Summer Dash, back to you. Summer, thank you very much. You know, she said the shops are open. So right. we need to put an order in for some taffy. See if she can bring some of that back for us. Uh, Dollywood leaders say they are following health expert guidelines to make sure they are doing the right things to keep people safe. They do say they are constantly changing and there is a limit on the number of people allowed in each day. Harvest Festival and Great Pumpkin Luminites, by the way, run through October 31st.